Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add column names to a matrix in R. Now first, let's set up a matrix which uh, doesn't have any column names in it. On line 4 of my code here, I'm creating a matrix using the matrix function. I'm calling the matrix new mat, just to use any name, but I'm using new mat here. My matrix is going to have 20 values in it, the numbers 1 to 20. I want to arrange the data in four rows. Uh, 20 is divisible by 4, which will mean that there will be five columns in my matrix. I don't need to specify that, so I can leave that out. And I want my data to be uh, displayed in rows so that the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are on the first row, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are on the second row, and so on. On line 5, I have add, already added four row names uh, to the matrix. And, uh, and then I'm going to print out the matrix. So let's run these uh, pieces of code. So create the matrix first, add in the row names, and then print out the new matrix. And you can see here uh, that my, make, my made up data values from one to 20. Um, I'm using four country names, Ireland, Canada, and India, and USA as row names. But you can see here in the columns that the columns don't have any names. They're, they are just being referred to by number. You can see each column has a square bracket and the comma there in the middle of the square bracket with nothing before it and a number after it tells us that they that is how we refer to the column. So at the moment we can only refer to the first column as number one, the second column as number two, and so on. So let's say we want to add it in column names into this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the years 2021 to 2025 as column names on this fictitious data here. Now, as in the format for the row names uh, data, I'm going to use something similar, um, and no surprise that the function name here is called call names. So C-O-L-N-A-M-E-S, call names, open and close bracket. And I want to add the column names to the matrix I've just created. So that's new mat is what I called it. And as in row five, I'm going to use a sign using the combine operator, the column names as I want them to appear in the matrix. So I'm going to use the uh, day, uh, figures uh, 2021 uh, to 2025, so 20, 21. So even though these are numeric values, um, uh, I need to put them in inverted commas. 20, 2022, open the close brackets again, 20, 23. So whatever values are, whatever text I put in here will appear as the column names, 20, 24, and 20, 25. Put those, surround those in inverted commas. Okay, just a quick check. We've got uh, five values here, to the years 21 to 2025, and um, um, we have got five columns in our day, in our matrix, as you can see. So let me run this and reprint, print my new matrix. That's what I call the matrix. When I reprint this, we can see that we now have the column names added in as we as we have created them with the call names function. So whatever values you put in uh, in row eight in this case here will appear as column names. Now if I try to add in, we've got five columns. If I try to add in an extra year here, okay, so when I say I'm just deliberately creating an error here. So 2026, when I try and run this, we now have got six labels in a five column matrix. So when I run this, we're going to get an error message saying that the, the, the uh, length of the names is not equal to the array. In other words, it's saying I'm trying to add in six labels uh, where there are only five columns. So I need to go back and remove the fifth or the sixth label, rerun the code, reprint the matrix to get it back again. And we now have our matrix uh, in the way that we want it to appear. So we've now got row, both row names and column names in our matrix. So that's how you add column names to a matrix in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.